The full House of MEPs got their first opportunity to debate and dissect the Volkswagen emissions fixing scandal. Many demanded full disclosure from the German car maker and a quicker introduction of new European tests compatible with real road conditions. Among those MEPs, Giovanni Lavia, Chair of Parliament's Environment Committee, and fellow Environment Committee member Julie Gerling. A first question, how to fix European emissions testing whose credibility is clearly broken and design credible RDE tests, or real driving emissions tests? Volkswagen have not revealed uh, what is the real issue and we need more information from Volkswagen. But on the other side, I have to be clear that we need in the future more clean car and then we need to change the system at the European level, we need to reinforce control, we need to have an European authority able to follow 28 different member states. There has to be a complete revision of the RDE so that we have a real on-road, real-world testing um, situation. And then we have to mix that up with a bit of on-road surveillance. And we also need, I think, to bring in a, a, a random surveillance test, not perhaps at the level that they do in the States, you know, where it's, it's very, very far-reaching. I think something across the member states, an agreement with member state governments that they would institute some random surveillance testing, I think is going to be essential. Is it time to move from government emissions regulatory authorities to independent ones? Probably it is true. We have to rethink the system. We have to control more the car producer because we want the production in line with our regulation. In effect, the, the, the national regulatory authorities are independent in the sense that they work for governments. So I don't think that's fundamentally a problem so long as the tests are right. I, I think you can read a lot of into this about that. that there are issues about the influence of the motor industry. Uh, the influence, I think, at, at the fundamental core level of legislation, uh, their influence here in Brussels is, is quite strong, and I think we need to ask questions about that. But I think in terms of having completely independent testing agency for Europe, that will be a, a massive bureaucracy. It would be very expensive, and I think it might not be necessary. How serious are the effects of this, with people inhaling more diesel-generated toxins on public health? It's absolutely clear that the air quality in Europe is not good enough. In fact, it's been deteriorating, and that now that we can measure it uh, as precisely as we can, it's very obvious that we need to do something very radical about it. So if we don't get on with the transport side of that, and we don't get on with the emissions side, then it's very hard for us to deal with other things. The result of this fraud it is that in many countries, in many European citizens, we have a higher level of pollution than the one that was admitted. And this is not responsibility, probably in some case, of the measure of a town, of a local traffic, but also it is responsibility of the European car producer. What is the potential economic impact? In this case, we are going to discuss about the uh, reduction of uh, uh, troth in uh, one car producer. Uh, it is clear that uh, some uh, uh, clients or potential clients have to check if uh, the car that they want to buy, to buy it is in line with uh, the international standards. We know that the European automotive industry has not been making any profit over the last couple of years. We know that we have overproduction. So there are issues in the automotive industry already. Add this on top. Uh, we could have a very severe problem and some economists are talking about the possibility of this actually driving into us, some, some parts of Europe into recession. That would be a tragedy and I think that's where we, the Parliament, the Commission and the industry together need to bang our heads together, get on with this, sort it out and make sure that doesn't happen. Restore consumer confidence ASAP and make sure that that driver of our economy keeps going. <laughs>